Hello everyone and welcome to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. I'm Julie Fletcher. The horses behind me are eating hay and they wanted to uh, be a part of this video and tell you that we are in the process of rescuing two more horses from Bowie, Texas Livestock. Uh, these are the details on the two horses that we're going to rescue. Number 3096 of the Bowie, Texas Livestock, Belgian gelding, 18 to 16 years of age. Big shapey horse right here. Lots of size to him. Clean legs, his feet need to trim up. It's a good shapey horse. He's been used in the forestry, pulling logs. You see, he's big and shapey. He can pull lots of weight. Well, they've been a little bit uh, tough on this horse. He acts just a little bit nervous on the ground. He just needs a little bit of time to get his bearings. But he's big, he's quiet, and just give him a little time, he sure will settle out. His tag number is 3096, and he is with BowieTexasLivestock.com. You click on the wire horses, you will see him listed on there. Transport is available. Main routes to California, Kentucky, North Carolina, Michigan, and Florida. California trip to drop offs all the way across the I 40 through New Mexico, Arizona, Bakersfield, California, and Stockton, California. You call us, we sure will get you taken care of. As you can see, he's not a bad horse, he just needs a little bit of love, it will go a long way. But he's big, he's strong, he is very, very powerful, this horse. He's got lots of shape to him and lots of life left. If you're interested in him, once again, he's with BowieTexasLivestock.com. Number 3100 with the Bowie Texas Livestock Belgian Gelding 17 to 19 years of age. Big horse is going to be shot all the way around. He's been used as a carriage horse used on the Amish farm. Big, quiet, gentle. He's shown quite a bit of his backbone. He needs some feed and uh, get him a little bit more healthier again. Other than that, he is quiet and he is gentle and easy going. He is shot. He just probably needs those shoes pulled off, give him a good trim up, and he'll start to feel much better. Nice horse right there. He is with Bowie Texas Livestock. Only other thing I see him that's an old deal where uh, half his eyelid is kind of being cut off with some sort of injury. It's all old, uh, no issues there with the eye or anything like that. Once again, if you're interested in him and need his price, go to our website at BowieTexasLifestock.com. Take over to our horses, you'll see him listed on there. So we weren't planning on rescuing any more horses again this soon, but we are doing a fundraiser to uh, take care of their bail, transport, and medical. All the details are available at thebighooffoundation.org, and there's a link in the description below to their fundraiser. We can't thank you enough for all of your support and generosity, and uh, we'll keep you posted on the, how the fundraiser's going. And thank you to everybody that has supported us um, over the past years on rescuing these horses. We couldn't have done this without you. I've been thinking of a way to bring this topic up um, and the reason I haven't brought this topic up before is because I'm very afraid that YouTube will take my channel down um, for having a controversial topic. Um, this topic is about a bill that's passing through Congress right now. Um, 
to close the loophole to end slaughter pipeline. And basically what this does is it stops the export of horses out of the country. So I am doing a petition right now and that's at FletcherFarmsAmarillo.com. All the information to the petition is there. And I'm also going to add a link for you as well to make it easier to be able to find your representatives. I urge all of you, if you're in the United States, to reach out to your representatives, make phone calls, send emails, make them personal, um, send them to them. If you make a phone call, they're logged. Um, tell them that you want these bills supported and um, those calls are logged every day. So the more phone calls that these people are receiving, the more that they're going to push this bill up, up the line. So I don't know if it's going to actually make a change, but I'm definitely going to try to do something to to make a change because all these horses and all these rescue groups that continue to rescue these horses are working day and night to try to stop this. And if there isn't something that passes higher than just us rescue groups trying to save these horses, nothing's gonna change and it's gonna be an endless battle of horses shipping to slaughter. And um, we just need your support on that. So my petition will be at Fletcher Farms Amarillo. Dot com and all the information that you'll need for this act that needs to be passed, which is called the SAFE Act, is on FletcherFarmsAmarillo.com. But I do want to say thank you so much for all of your support and hopefully this bill can get moved up and we can get this passed and close the loophole and horses will stop shipping out of the country for slaughter. If you guys have questions, please send them, send them to our email, um, either at TheBigHoofFoundation.org or FletcherFarmsAmarillo.com. Um, if anyone has any ideas, on how to get this passed or any ideas on what we can do to get the word out better than what we're trying to do right now. Uh, we'd greatly appreciate any, any input. Um, the more people that we get talking about this, it's, it, that's when change happens. So I'll have links in the description below to everything that I've been talking about in this video. And again, we appreciate your support and thank you so much for all of your help. We'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.